What is up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back. Perfectly Average Golf, I'm Alan, and we are still out here at Carolina Springs. We're hitting the ball pretty well. However, the score from the front nine was not great. If you missed it, it's worth going back and rewatching because some of the things that we've been working on have started to show up. Driver largely has been pretty good. Fairways and reg have been pretty much all the way there. Greens and regular still not quite there, but we're giving ourselves a lot of really great chances at up and downs. Problem is we're not converting on those chances as of yet. We didn't score anything at or below par in that front nine. Hoping to change it here in the back. Uh, we're gonna completely ignore the full 18 and just do nine hole, just straight course vlog. So mentally, I'm gonna reset it everything right now. Not even look at that plus number from the front nine, reset as if we're level par, trying to play at level par, well, as close to level par as possible here into the back nine. We are teeing off all the way from the back tee box at 6,800 in total, which is perfect for where I should be hitting from. Just gotta make sure we're keeping consistent content. So let's get at it, we're going up to hole number 10. 505, par five, we just cut off par five. Big stretch right here. Looks like a slight dog leg to the left, but we're just gonna be trying to aim, hopefully for a small draw. We got some helping wind, at least for now, over towards the 150 marker. So here's hoping. Not a lot of distance off the tee box. We got about 285 to get up there, back pin position guarded by bunkers. So we're hitting three wood, trying to go towards the center of the green. This is either gonna be hit really well, or it's gonna go nowhere. Kinda of hit it in the middle. Not great, not bad. It's more than 20 yards. <laughs> it's more than 20 yards. Just short left and still rolling, stop. Distance, considering we didn't catch that three wood all that well, was about right. Just snuck over here to the left of the bunker. So we got to get up and down here, try to still save. And this is our third shot. We could still okay. save Bird. Set. Mike. Not terrible. I was scared of going into the bunker, so we gave it a little bit more juice than I normally would have. Oh. Want to do. A little more credit than it deserved. <laughs> All right, heck of a start there for the first. We finally got something that doesn't have a square around it. Nice five right there to start things off, and let's get on to the next. I would love to try to like just break my front nine record right here. I think we shot plus five the other day, if I remember correctly, from when we were at Etowah. So if we could do something like that here on the back, I'd be really, really happy with the day. All right, after the par. Got a par four coming up here, straight away. Small little offset green to the right, so driver is green light. Perfect. Yeah, man. Best swing I've had all day. Oh yeah, hey. maybe just off the fairway, but we'll take that. Drive leaped into the rough a little bit. We got 108, full sand wedge here. Jumped on me a little bit, sit on the green. Maybe a little bit long. That thing jumped off the face, holy. <laughs> All right, up and down game on the front nine was not particularly great, but hopefully we can knock something close here and still save another par. Looking just to put this thing maybe two feet onto the green. Looking forward to play right to left. Exactly where I wanted to put it. <laughs> Same thing you did. <laughs> yeah, I can't be mad about the putt, even though we sat there for Bogue. But it's not bad. I, I really do like the way that I read that putt. Just maybe pulled it just a little bit. Not bad overall. Still plus one here through two. All right, part four here. We've got to carry water as this is going to go steep dog leg to the right. So we're aiming kind of for that tree out into the distance, going right over the top of the carts. Too aggressive? Faded right. You hit it solid? Yeah. No idea if this could be good or not. I uh, got a little scared of the house, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I uh, didn't quite send the driver as far over to the right that I needed to and it ended up bleeding on me to the right. I don't know how much space is over there, so we'll see if it stayed in play or not. Hit it really well. So we found it, it went just barely into this person's backyard. So we're taking a bit of a drop. Not gonna necessarily count it though because it would have been playable. It's just in a person's backyard and I'm not trying to hit it off someone's backyard. We gotta go and hug this tree line and uh, we're hitting pitching wedge. It's gonna be hard to see where this ball goes, but 
We gotta put a little bit of a fade and spin on it. That'll play. Yeah. Chip it apart from there. All right, up and down try here for par. Pin looks like it's on a little bit of a ridge. False front. Gotta carry this close. Did not carry that nearly enough. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Holy. Stupid game. Tough double there after the lip out. Got a par three, another long one. 200 yards or so. We're gonna hit that same four hybrid that we had from before. We got a crosswind from left to right. So um, it's a back pin position. We should have some space to work with here with an easy four shot. Oh, what the? Stay dry. What did I even just do? Well, after some great contact off the tee box, Bye. taking a drop, hitting three. Got about 104 here. Back pin, full sand wedge shot. Jesus, thin, sick. All right, we got a little finesse shot here. We got to get out of the rough. It's laying kind of weird, but it's the green's falling away from us, so we got to hit really just barely on the green here. Only play I had, really. Thank you. I need to regain drive here. Par four coming up. A little bit of a small dog leg to the left. It's more of just an offset green to the left. So we're kind of be going over towards that big tree down through the fairway, just over the top of the 150-ish. So that's the goal. Oh my God, that's so bad. Stay left. It won't. All right, it's not nearly as bad as the shot shape, I'm sure looked. We still have a very nice look at the green, even though we're still 231 out. We've got five wood. Gotta get to some of the pine cones and shit out of the way, and then we're gonna try to get there. Ooh. Jeez, Alan, come on, dude. Holy, about 100 yards left after the terrible five wood. We need to get up and down here. Caught that full. I imagine by Glenn's reaction, it probably went over the back. <laughs> on you. Look at this dude. Need. <sighs> Can't keep making doubles like this, man. Need to regain par four here. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't go in that bunker. Oh, we're short of it. Better contact, poor distance though. Just got it too far up in the air. Caught that really high in the face, but hey, it's in the fairway. 204-ish to go. Half four hybrid here. Need good contact. par four after a really short drive and a good four hybrid we didn't have to bring our sandwich to the green that time is this what golf feels like all right we got a par in the cards second time today for the full 18. Mm -hmm.
Time for some five wood, as we got a steep dog leg to the left, just gotta carry something, it's 2.30 to get to the back, so nice easy five wood, hug the left, maybe a little bit of a draw spin would be nice. Oh, draw. Heard trees though. Well, it did what I wanted it to do, just didn't start it on the right line. We got lucky we stayed in play. We have about 160 to the front, we're gonna go right on the left side of these trees, so we're gonna have to really try to shape this shot Hook it. We gotta try to hook it. Hook it! Hook it! Hook it! Run him up! Run him up! Didn't want to curve for me. That should be okay though. The way I went down the hill. Yeah, it should, that should be okay. okay. Oh, Alan, you... Dumb dum. Big dumb dumb. Heard a lot more break than there actually was, obviously. Alright, we're not playing any better here in the back than we were in the front. Par 3. Whole goal here is just to get a green and reg. And we can't be doubling par 3s like we have been all day long, so... It's playing about 194, with a small downhill, so I'm hitting 6 iron here. Flushed it. Fading. Stay. Jeez. That thing took a hard right turn. Yeah, it did. Hit that so well, bro. Oh, long. But the idea was right. Nice shot. Take that. All right, they're average golfers. It's been a, well, the back nine has looked a lot like the front nine. Not a great round of golf area here. One more to play though. Gotta cover some water. It goes off to the right. Gotta drive it for the last time. Let's just hit something straight, yeah? You know, there's a rule, perfectly average golfers, that's out there that uh, I don't know if you guys have read up on your rule books yet. When you play a round like we've played so far, there's really only one major rule that I need you guys to look up in your rule books. The rule is on 18, you play it well and the beer tastes that much better at the end. So great drive there. Need to find a way if we could get on in green and regulation, even if we get on in green and regulation to get par. The beer at the end of the day is gonna taste that much sweeter. I mean, the beer at the end of the day is gonna taste good no matter what happens, but True. it's just gonna taste a little bit better. So, we've, I mean, I, I am not gonna lie. We have been a little bit of a head case all day today. Like, I've been really down on what I've been doing, mostly because it's not that I'm playing poorly, it's the fact that we're hitting good shots and not converting. That's the biggest thing, and that's been the whole key for this whole last two weeks or so in my game has been, hey, let's work on some of these things and make sure we're putting ourselves in good positions. Guess what? Throughout the majority of the day today, we've been in great positions, just haven't been able to convert. So that's the whole reason that I'm kind of an emotional head case right now. <laughs> All right, we got about 240-ish to get up to the green. We got five wood. We're going for it, baby. Come back. Just short left of the green. <laughs> Hit that about as well as I could, considering the Y. All right, so we didn't get nearly as far up as I thought we did. Got a little pitch shot here, and that flag is just over a small ridge, so we gotta try to carry this pretty darn close. Went a little bit too far left on us, but hey, that was exactly the distance we were trying to play. Oh, it doesn't go to the left. I read that so wrong. Go 
playing. You guys. Good games, hey, good games. Enjoy it. Pleasure playing with you. Great round out of you. Yeah, thanks. All right, average golfers, a less than average round, but here's the thing. Now, I mentioned this for a moment, maybe in the first video, maybe in the second, I don't remember when I said it. We didn't play, at least in my opinion, like looking back and evaluating, we did not play at what I shot at, at least that I thought. Shot 95 overall, plus nine on the back, which was two strokes better than the front. We had way too many doubles. I think we had two different triples. The thing about it is I think we only had two balls that, oh no, three, three on the day that were out of play from the tee box. One was a driver, the other two were bad shots off par threes. Everything else we were able to play and we typically had good second shots. It's a, it's a weird round for me. I'm not even lying. Like I'm kind of struggling here in the moment, like trying to figure out like what exactly had gone wrong. Cause I thought I played generally contact wise a lot better. I feel like fairways and regulation were good or if it wasn't a fairway, it was just off the fairway. Greens and like regulation were atrocious. I think we only had like three or four out of the 18, which is again, not good. That's I think the biggest thing about the game we need to fix up. We had some poor reads, some poor luck on the greens overall when it comes down to putting on the day. It's tough because I think I'm, I'm trying to mentally push myself to get to that 85 number on a consistent basis or at least around it. And maybe that's hurting my game, maybe it's not. We'll kind of have to tally that up and find out, but that's kind of where we're at. We've got a lot of golf coming up. We're playing at least twice when we're down in Vegas. Uh, we'll see what the kind of caliber my friends are that are down there that want to play. And then more North Carolina fall golf. And then we're in Turks. We're playing Caribbean golf. That sounds fun and festive. So that's what we got coming up. So make sure if you're looking for more golf content, whether it's just fulfilling a void or whatever it happens to be, subscribe along. And we post three times a week here on this channel here for Perfectly Average. And the whole goal is just to get better together. So hopefully you guys are enjoying everything. And until next time, stay perfectly average. So long.